What's up everybody, you're back with the Chosen Con, and today you're in for a treat. We're going to be talking about the four levels of knowledge and how they relate to homelessness, which is a big issue out here in Vancouver. Now the first level of knowledge is you see smoke in the distance and you automatically assume that there's a fire. Now most of the people in this world are stuck in that first level of knowledge, in the assumption phase. So when you look at someone that's homeless, we automatically assume that you know what, they must be a drug dealer or they may be lazy. The second level of knowledge is when you see smoke, you see fire and you realize that, you know what, they're connected. So when you see someone that's homeless that is possibly doing drugs, you realize, you know what, maybe that has to do with mental health issue. And you connect the two. Now the third level of knowledge is you see smoke, you see the fire, and you realize, you know what, maybe I'm going to get a little bit close to this fire and see what it's all about. How that relates to homelessness is that you go and you visit someone that's homeless or you spend some time in the east side or you go to a tent city. You meet someone that's actually going through it and you try and understand or you try and learn from them. Get to know where they're coming from. And now the fourth most powerful level of knowledge is you're in the fire. When you're in the fire, that means you are homeless. But you truly understand what it feels like to be homeless. At the end of the day, in the world we live in right now, most of the people that are at a level one are speaking about people that are at level four. Where the people that are making assumptions are the ones that are saying the most about the people in the fire. And if we want to move forward as a society, we need to change that. We need to have people that truly understand and have the most powerful level of knowledge speak about what it feels like to be homeless, to be a drug addict, to be anything. If we get information from the people that are truly in the fire, people that are in that fourth level of knowledge, then we can move away from all these alternative facts and all this fake news. And I believe that's the way forward. For myself, I was in that first level of knowledge for a long time. I used to believe that these people, they didn't know, they, they were just drug addicts. They didn't know what to do with their life. They weren't driven. And it was, Actually, in, the, in December of 2016, where I realized, you know what, I got to do something. I got to stop reading about it. I got to go and meet these people. And only when I met them did I realize, you know what, they're just like you and me. They're human beings. Right? I got close to the fire and I realized, hey, man, I, a, a few bad mistakes and I could be here just, I could be here with you. If I didn't have all these safety nets being a kid with, from a family that's well off, I could definitely see myself being on the streets as well. And that totally shifted my mindset. No matter what city you're living in, what country you're living in, what part of the world, I urge you to go and meet these people. Go meet people that are starving, that are homeless. See what you can do to help. And honestly, the biggest thing you can do to help is just listen, first and foremost. Because most of the time, we automatically assume that we know what, what they need. If you ask them, you find out that at the end of the day, all you really need to do is give them a helping hand. If you want to see the rest of the Tent City video, check out the Vimeo, go on YouTube, or just go downtown east side. Go see it in real life. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, you can see the whole Tent City video on Vimeo. And check us out on thechosencon.com. We look forward to seeing you soon.